Today we're in Ezekiel 38, a chapter that has great implications for the days that we're living in. And I want to focus on just one verse, verse 23. In the last days, a nation called Magog, along with others, will attack Israel after God's people are brought back into their land gathered from many people, the Bible says. But God will intervene on his people's behalf and will display his awesome power in so many obvious ways that the world will not be able to deny that he is the Lord God. This verse was originally given to the people of Judah to encourage those who were in exile and had seen their capital and temple destroyed by the Babylonians. It was then, and is today, a reminder that the sovereign and almighty God is not only in control of the future, but also everything that is occurring right now. This definitely impacts us today as we consider the possibility of these verses being fulfilled in our contemporary setting. In our world today, with an almost instantaneous news reports coming in from all over the globe, it's very easy to become fearful. The people of Earth seem to be constantly moving from one financial crisis to another. More efficient weapons of warfare continue to be developed in our own country, as well as in unstable nations around the world. So how do we live in this environment as followers of Jesus Christ? God gives us reassuring words to help us keep our eyes on him through the prophet Isaiah in chapter 44. This is what the Lord says, Israel's king and redeemer, the Lord is of heaven's armies. I am the first and the last. There is no other God. Who is like me? Let him step forward and prove to you his power. Let him do as I have done since ancient times when I established a people and explained its future. Do not tremble. Do not be afraid. Did I proclaim my purposes for you long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any other God? No. There is no other rock, not one. See, we are the Lord's witnesses, and there truly is no other God like him. So let us walk faithfully and confidently through the confusion and the challenges of our world today. Remember, God is in control.